Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen with another live coding uh, challenge uh, from LeetCode. So today we are diving deep into a fascinating problem that revolves around binary tree and factors. So stay with me till the end because this is going to be a really interesting uh, journey. So, all right, let's talk about the problem. We are given an array of unique integer uh, and the twist is we need to form a binary trees using these integers. But here is the catch. Each non-leaf node value should be equal to the product of the values of its children. And the challenge, we need to return the number of binary trees we can uh, make. So for better clarity, let's uh, take a simple example. So imagine we have uh, yeah, array with two and four. So this is our array, and we can create three trees. So one tree will be just two, uh, one tree uh, just four, and one uh, tree. So uh, four uh, will be a root, and uh, our twos will be yeah uh, will be uh, children. So product will be four. Okay, so output uh, in this case is uh, free because we can create free binary trees. So let's break down uh, the logic. So we need to uh, check factors of each number in the array, so one. Also, for every pair of factors, there exists uh, a potential tree. And also, we can use dynamic programming to store the number of trees uh, each number can form as uh, the root, so not to uh, recompute. Uh, yeah. So, sounds fun. Uh, so, let's start uh, coding. So, uh, yeah. So, first, modulo 10 to 9 plus 7. Uh, so, first, let's set our uh, modulo constant, so mod to avoid a uh, large number. And next, we will sort input uh, array uh, and also create a set for faster uh, lookup. So array sort and s will be set array. And dp will be x1 for x in array. So uh, we are using uh, dynamic programming. Uh, so uh, we are initializing uh, dp dictionary here and every key is number uh, of trees with uh, that number as a root. So now the fun part. So for every number in our array, uh, we will check uh, its factor and determine how many tree we can form. So for i in array, for j in array, if j greater than i zero half break and if j uh, zero and j modulo j s so yeah with uh, our loop uh, if the current number is divisible by another and the result of the division uh, is uh, in our set, uh, we have found potential tree uh, root. So if i j j uh, dp i plus dp j times dp j. So a special case arise uh, when both factors are the same. So in such a scenario, uh, the tree counts uh, increases by the product of the count of the two factors. So we need to also include this and otherwise uh, it's doublet as the factor can swap position uh, and we also need to count them. So else will be dpi plus dpj dpi j now dpi modulo mod 
And yeah, uh, finally, we apply our uh, favorite modular operation to keep number manageable. So DPI uh, modulo modulo. And uh, our answer is simply the sum of all values in our DP dictionary modulo mod. Uh, so let's return it. So return DP values modulo mod. So this is a whole implementation. Uh, yeah, so now let's run it to verify uh, it's working. So I hope it will. <laughs> I implemented it previously. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so now let's submit it also for unsynthesis cases to double check uh, it's working well. So yeah, all good. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite uh, yeah, it's quite efficient, uh, beating 97 and half uh, percent with respect to uh, runtime and also 68 percent with with uh, memory. So yeah. Uh, I got previously a runtime of uh, 125, now 128, but basically it's uh, all quite uh, the same. And yeah, so uh, this is our solution. So it's uh, beautifully combined the power of sorting, set, and also dynamic programming. And if you enjoyed this, uh, hit the like button and let me know uh, in the comment uh, uh, what you want to see uh, in the next videos. And yeah, I will also provide a link in the description to implementation in other programming languages uh, like Rust. So I think Rust was the fastest one for uh, this one. So it took uh, just seven milliseconds and also, yeah, uh, 2.1 megabytes. So really fast, uh, followed by uh, Go programming language. Uh, yeah, also really fast, 11 milliseconds, 4.4 uh, megabytes. And yeah, uh, our Python, uh, 128 milliseconds. But yeah, so you probably know that uh, Python, Rust, and Go are uh, my three favorite programming languages. So yeah, uh, link to other implementation in the description uh, below. So uh, all good. And yeah, so uh, see you next time. And most importantly, uh, yeah, uh, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.